All right, guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so finally, Lenovo has finally released the new graphics drivers for the Legion Go. All right, so it's been a couple months since they released the new drivers. People are kind of excited now. Most of the new games, they're not running properly because of this. All right, so one thing I want to tell you guys, it's not in Legion space. It's not coming up for me. I'm not sure if it's going to come up for you, but you can check there first. You have to go on the official website. I will put the link down below, show you the installation process right now. Basically, this is just my old driver showing you what I have now. That's the one ending in 222.024.3002. All right, so if you press the quick menu, you go here, you go to Lenovo Diagnostics, close that out, go to drivers, go to select drivers, scroll down, come over here by graphics unit processing unit so when you come in here if it's not detecting your device you just gotta hit that download button click here you hit the scan button it's gonna say oh not detecting then you just press uh click some is a button down you gotta download a, a software and then that will let the website detect your device right and then you come in here you go to graphics right here and this is the new driver 31.024 0028.1001 right and I'll download it from here so with this new driver most of the newer games should be running properly now they mentioned something about amd fluid motion as well i gotta go back to the notes where they when they posted the beta version so i'll see what's going on once i get into the journal software extract extract Hit finish. All right, so I went back in, went to install, hit next, install. So now it's installing. Let it do its thing, guys. When it's done, you see amd gfx install successfully right hit okay then hit finish close this out you can hit it with a restart real quick all right so now when you come back in here you'll see the new driver 31.0.24028.1001 Oh, one right all right so the adrenaline software is not gonna work because when you install it directly from the website it doesn't give you the, the package for the software as well we got to reinstall it let's go to add or remove programs and uninstall the software right uninstall uninstall once that's gone should be gone from out of here as well yep gone uh, and I'll, go, I'll put the website down below download this now and this should give you the newest version of that the software and it should be compatible all right so that's done let's hit it with a restart before we try to open it restart all right so back up show more And then you should be good, guys. I'm gonna boot up. Let's skip that, or you can set it up again. And now we're in. So new software for this software. 23402801. I'm not even sure if it was the same number, but now it's actually working. Let's go. Go to graphics. Come in here. We're seeing AMD fluid motion. So I'm gonna test it out and see in the beta version when they released the, the patch notes or the notes about the new software. It did say AMD Fluid Motion is present in control panel on Adrenaline, but only works properly on external monitor, right? So it only gonna work uh, properly on external monitor. But I'll test it out to see how it actually works without a monitor, like directly on the device. So I'll put some gameplay out or see what's going on and post stuff for you guys but yeah that's basically it thanks for tuning in guys and that's how you update to the new drivers and also 
the software as well. Elblade 2 should be running smooth now because it runs very smoothly on my Asus Rogue Ally and it has the updated drivers, right? So yeah, so thanks for tuning in and remember to always say guys, health is well, peace and love. I'm out guys and please drop a comment down below, let me know what you think and hit the subscribe button guys and thanks for tuning in.